Greetings, friends. Welcome back to the broadcast. I'm Sean, your host. The website is www.scriptureandprophecy.com. Well, today we are looking for some wisdom and some encouragement from the Psalms and from the Proverbs. We are looking at Psalm 58 today and Proverbs 8. And without any delay, let's just go ahead and dig right in, starting with Psalm 58, King James Bible. Let's begin. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightness, O ye sons of men? Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, they are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, which will not hearken to the voice of the charmer's charming never so wisely. Break their teeth, O God, in their mouth. Break out the great teeth of the young lions, O Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually when he bendeth his bow to shoot his arrows. Let them be as cut in pieces. As a snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman, that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can feel the thorns, he shall take them away as with a whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, Verily there is reward for the righteous. Verily he is a God that judges in the earth. And that is Psalm 58. That last verse really spoke to me, I guess. Or the last two verses. He says, The righteous will rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked, so that a man shall say, Verily there is reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges in the earth. Because if you were to look at the world, you would think, well, God doesn't judge the wicked. In fact, there is no reward for righteousness because the righteous are trampled under the foot of the wicked. They continue to get away with their evil. And their wickedness and their evil and their lying and their plots just continue to prosper and move forward year over year. And get even worse and even worse. I mean, this is what we are witnessing right now. 2020 has been a, just a great example of how the wicked rule the world and continue to prosper in their wickedness. But the day is coming, right? This is what we believe. The day is coming when God will avenge the righteous, when God will judge And that, and then a man will be able to say, truly, God is one who rewards the righteous and judges the earth. And this whole psalm is David saying, God, please deal with this. Do something about this. Bring your vengeance. Let me read this last part again last three verses before your pots can feel the thorns he shall take them away as with a whirlwind both living and in his wrath the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance and he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked so that a man shall say verily there is a reward for righteous verily he is a god that judges in the earth Let's move on to Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Doth not wisdom cry, and understanding put forth her voice? She standeth in the top of a high place, by the way in the places of the paths. She cries at the gates, at the entry of the city, and at the coming in at the doors. 
Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple, understand wisdom, and ye fools, be ye of understanding heart. Herefore I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of, I, of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that findeth knowledge. Receive my instructions, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy. In the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine, and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me kings reign, and princes decree justice. By me princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before the works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning, wherever the earth was. When there was no depths, I was brought forth, when there was no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part, of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the fountains of the earth, foundations of the earth, then was I by him as one brought up with him. And I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth, and my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting for the post of my doors. For whoso findeth me findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Now this seems to be written almost like it's from the, it's from the perspective of Christ, right? The pr perspective of Messiah. And we're going to read that last part one more time just to reiterate that. But what I want to point out is a couple of things. Number one, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. And then he gives some examples of this evil. Pride, arrogancy, the evil way, and the froward mouth I do hate, it says in verse 13. And the froward mouth would be the, be the same as saying like a perverse mouth. Pride, arrogancy, an evil way. In a perverse mouth. The fear of the Lord is to hate these things. <laughs> so what is this? The fear, is the, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride, arrogancy. The evil way in the forward mouth I do hate. And then if you go to verse 17, it says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. That seek me early, I think, uh, what it's getting at is, I think it is referring to literally getting up early and seeking God. And 
think we could look at it like this. It means to seek God before seeking anything else. Right? You get up, the first thing you do is seek God. That's your priority. That's your goal. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. I mean, even Messiah lived that example out where he would get up early and pray. You want to have a closer relationship with God, seek him early. Make it a priority to get up even earlier than you normally would so that you have time to seek God before you have to deal with the rest of your day. Let me read the last like 15 verses again and try to imagine and, and think about it uh, from this perspective that it's Messiah speaking. Because that's the, when I read this, this is what I see. And I've seen lots of other commentary uh, that kind of uh, agrees with that as well. I'm going to start with what we just read. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Riches and honor are with me, yea, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yea, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I lead the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of judgment. That I might cause those that love me to inherit substance, I will fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning wherever the earth was. When there was no depths, I was brought forth. When there was no fountains abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass upon the face of the depth. When he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep. When he gave to the sea his decree that the water should not pass his commandment. When he appointed the foundations of the earth. Then was I by him as one brought up with him. I was daily his delight rejoicing always before him. Rejoicing in a habitable part of the earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Now therefore hearken unto me. O you children for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whosoever findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they, all they that hate me loved death. That is our wisdom and encouragement from the Psalms and from the Proverbs this morning. And I pray in the powerful name of Jesus that you've been blessed by it. Lord willing, I'll be back with you tomorrow with our Torah portion for this week. Peace and grace be with all of you. And until next time, God bless. <laughs>